Hello guys, we are here, expand your consciousness, giving you the best life advice and exposing the matrix. In this video, we're gonna talk about uh, the fifth dimension, okay? Signs that uh, you are moving into the fifth dimension and uh, what is happening right there. What is happening uh, in this, uh, in your greatest, uh, in one of your greatest lifetime experiences actually. My spiritual awakening happened at 11-11-2019, uh, you know, it, uh, the trigger happened there. there is, uh, I realized along my journey that uh, there is a little switch and uh, when you are ready, your soul, boom, clicks that switch and boom, your awakening starts. You are waking up to, into a new world and then... Um, you know, your life begins to to take a to take a crazy, crazy, crazy meaning. Suddenly, your life become you know meaningful. Suddenly, there are two ways. As I've seen along my journey, as I observed other people, and uh, I, uh, I, in my personal experience. There are two ways that people wake up, okay? The first one, which I woke up through, is, uh, and a lot, a lot of, uh, the majority of the people actually wake up through this, is um, through total suffering, so through chaos. There is chaos in your life, suffering, everything falls apart. You know, your whole life is falling apart. Maybe an accident happens, maybe a near-death experience, maybe you lose the loved one, maybe your relationship falls apart. Maybe a series of events that happened along my, my journey, you know, my relationship falls apart, I had a near-death experience. Uh, total chaos, total chaos, okay. So something really big happens in the external environment and uh, in that pain when life completely fall, falls apart boom you wake up and basically what happens in this journey in this situation your ego loses completely its grip on you and the real you the consciousness the awareness the observer takes over and you realize that uh, the ego has never actually been in control of everything. The second way that I observe on either and stuff like that is that people just wake up without suffering, without pain, just natural and very spontaneous, sp spontaneously. So what happens during that, that journey? Your heart awakens, your uh, energy system opens up really wide and then you start to discover your spiritual gifts uh, that you have a lot that your soul has planned for you sometimes um, you know things uh, that uh, people were laughing at you at uh, the 3d in the fifth dimension they are gifts they are they were actually protecting you from going their own way so you discover a lot of talents and gifts right there that you didn't, you didn't even know you had before. Okay. Then, then you you enter that experience that is called, uh, you know, dark night of the soul or dark night of the ego, because your ego dies right there. Your old ego dies right there. It's like it's literally like you are dying like there. And um, yeah, this is uh, you know. This is things you're gonna experience as you shift into the fifth dimension. So, it's like uh, as your uh, heart awakens, as your uh, as your energy body opens up, and this can be really challenging. It's like your whole body is reconstructing. Okay, your DNA changes, your cellular, you know body changes your um 
it's like my brain was changing, you know, all the upper part of my brain for like uh, during my wake, during the two first months of my awakening, all my upper, all the ground chakra, for example, was getting stimulated and like, like crazy and I knew something was changing in there. Okay. It's like you are getting an upgrade in your whole uh, body and energy system. Okay. Another thing that is going to happen is... Um, you're gonna become more sensitive to vibrations around you. You're gonna be able to read people, you know, through their energy, through the energy. The energy of them is gonna speak to you. And you're gonna also prefer to stay in environments with lighter energy. During this experience, you will realize, during this move from to, to the fifth dimension, you will realize that your energy is the most valuable currency you have and um, you taking care of yourself first you, you make sure you have um, a, a full cup first so you can give to other people as well and uh, energy hygiene becomes your priority your relationship changes during that move from uh, the, th the third dimension to the fifth dimension you might lose people actually you're gonna lose as, as you rise as you rise either either you know some people will follow but vo most of them you're gonna lose them but uh, you know you're gonna experience uh, some uh, moments of loneliness you know being alone but along your journey you will realize that uh, it was necessary you know your soul isolated you on purpose so you can work on yourself, so you can do the inner work, so you can do the shadow work, so you can work with your inner child, for example, so you can love yourself better. You'll see that everything happens. You know, you are in the perfect place in the perfect time. It's so amazing. It's just, ooh. You, you might, uh, you know, you might lose a lot of relationships, but uh, as you ascend, you're gonna meet your soul family, your relationships are gonna become, you know, higher quality, more equal, more honest. You will express, as you ascend, you will express your true authenticity, okay, and you will attract people that are true, okay, and you won't be afraid anymore to express your true self as you ascend. So here yeah, I had some invaders in my house, I had to cut the recording, okay. I was talking about, um, you know, relationships. Now let's um, talk about, uh, you know, inner truth. Your experience, you learn how to listen to your own voice. You learn how to listen to your soul. How, how to, how to, to listen to who you truly are. Okay, and uh, you know, during that experience of the shift between the 3D and 5D, you learn how to listen to yourself. And um, you stay in alignment with that, okay? You give a vow to your soul. You give a vow to your soul that no matter what, you're gonna be on your purpose. You know, you're gonna be, you you're gonna follow that voice because it knows. It just knows. It just knows everything. That voice knows what's the best decision you, you can make up here. It knows. So you stay in alignment with that uh, inner truth, and uh, as you, as your consciousness expands during that uh, journey, during that spiritual awakening journey, you 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 just you just listen to that voice and you go with the flow. You enter the magical world, a world full of synchronicities, a, a dimension you know where you are just present. Where your awareness expands, you know, it's amazing, it's an amazing experience. You live in that uh, present moment, in that presence, in uh, your soul level. Number five, uh, number five, uh, yeah, 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 number five, number five is, uh, you know, your experience as you ascend, as you do, as uh, you do, as you heal yourself, as you remove your subconscious beliefs that are fear-based that uh, block you, as you, as you do that inner healing, you know, shadow work, inner child work, 
uh, as you practice self love, you feel that inner peace. And uh, uh, you realize that inner peace is the greatest form of wealth. And, uh, you know, it's a must, it's a core value to have an inner peace. And it's gonna be your priority in everything you do. So, every person that comes to disturb your inner peace, you won't let him, okay? Either you're gonna remove him, either you're gonna put batteries, or you, you are not gonna get affected, okay? As you heal your old wounds, you know, you're building that inner peace inside. And uh, it's the best feeling to go into your bed at night, no anxiety, no stress, uh, no fear-based thoughts, you know, your heart light as a feather and uh, you, you sleep like a baby. Okay, another sign you, you are shifting to the fifth uh, dimension, you are moving to the fifth dimension is uh, you realize that uh, you can't save everyone. You give your hand but uh, at the same time, you respect other people's decisions and free will. E even though you may feel like you have the tools to help them, you give your hand with your action, with, with your words, with your thoughts. You give your heart, your heart energetically as well. But uh, if, if they don't want, if they don't want to heal or to ascend their journey, if the other person resists your energy, you know, your help, in other words, it, uh, it only drains you. Okay, this helps, you realize that when you help someone, it, it only works when they are open. Okay, and um, this comes as well with respecting the law of free will okay, that uh, there is in this universe. You have to stay balanced, you know, you have to, to be in the perfect balance between everything. That's where the truth lies. Experience both extreme pain, both uh, extreme pleasure, physically, you know, but the truth is somewhere in between, always, in the perfect balance. So you give your heart, if they don't hold, you respect it, you respect the, you know, you respect how this universe works, okay? Another thing is that uh, you learn to trust others and take decisions, okay? As you become more connected to your higher self, you realize that just as like uh, your soul shows your lessons here, you realize that they, they have to, their souls ha has to do, you know, their they have to go to learn their lessons too, okay? And uh, instead of being worried about them, you make space and uh, trust their own timing, okay? Nab number, uh, number uh, I don't remember, sign is uh, you experience, you experience a lot of cleansing, okay? Energy cleansing. Because during that uh, move from the third dimension, during that shift from the third dimension to the fifth dimension, you know, your old self, your old identity, your old ego is dying, you know, it's like it, it's getting wiped out and your higher self is coming uh, to stay in your body, okay? That's the whole spiritual awakening journey, but um, th this during that shift, during that change inside you, there is a lot of, um, you know, um, energy changes inside you. So you are clearing your energy, and you you feel a lot lighter as you prepare your body to embody these energies. You know, to embody your higher self. Another side is that uh, you stop being sweet. Okay. Uh, now you realize that um, you carry powerful light within, okay? You are the light, you carry powerful light within, and um, you realize that uh, how much this is needed during this, uh, during this, um, you know, time, and um, 
you are stopped being sweet and insecure and you step into your inner power, okay, and that changes everything. And uh, you begin to shine, you, you begin to shine your true light, your true essence. Okay. You, you are chosen to make this transition at this point and uh, you feel like you have to carry others with you. And uh, you have a lot of light within you and sometimes it feels like you have to shine. And uh, this, uh, as you are sent, as we are sent to the fifth dimension, this will change even more, even more, even more. You, you will begin to embody your soul's energy as you make this energetic transition. Because when you do this, is your true frequency, and uh, th this is your place of power. When you, when you are, when you energetically, uh, you know, embody this uh, dimension, your, your true self. Other sign is you become a better observer. Okay, you become a better observer. You you observe everything. You know you observe through your awareness, through your consciousness. Being an observer is also a great way not to get stuck in the 3D reality. You observe, you observe. You know, it's it's like you are um you are the overseer, you know, you are watching how everyone is behaving, how, you know, what they are doing, and you are getting messages through your speed, guys, through, through your soul, through your higher self, you are getting messages. And uh, you realize the inner connectedness between everything as you observe, as you become a better observer, as your awareness and self-awareness increases. During that shift, you can experience all of this stuff. You will also realize the importance of being proactive and uh, working on your energy before it gets out of balance. If you, you know, if you, for, for some reason, if you, if you think that, uh, you know, if you spot that you are getting off. You know, you're gonna be proactive, you're gonna be protective over your energy. And the inner guidance, your uh, true voice, your um, your intuition, your higher self, uh, you know, your spirit guides, your archangels, your, your angels are gonna help you with that. And uh, you flow, you flow with life. You know, you flow, the, the, this voice will guide you to flow. Another thing you're gonna experience is that you will begin to strengthen your uh, energy body. Okay, you heal yourself, you reconstruct, so you learn how to how to put a, a boundaries. You know, you become a master alchemist along the journey, but uh, you know, strengthening your energy body is a really you know, a huge sign that you are moving to the fifth dimension. And um, you will become really mindful of the energy you allow into your environment and uh, this will make you to lose a lot of relationships. And um, yeah. Another sign is that, uh, you know, you feel more whole. You do your inner work, you do your shadow work. You slowly, as you shift, you, you slowly become more whole, more whole, more whole. As you move on that journey, you become more whole, more whole. With all that changes that are happening, the emotional level, in the mental level, as the denser energies, as, as the low vibe energies, as the fear-based energies get removed, you will experience wholeness. And you, you're gonna... You're gonna begin to embody that uh, fifth dimension energy in your life, okay? You, you're gonna become uh, an eternal student of life. You're gonna hit a lot. You're gonna be thirsty for the truth, thirsty for knowledge. What are we living? What is going on? Who created this? A lot of questions. You, you're gonna have a lot of questions. You're gonna wake up every day with more questions that, than answers. 
and you're gonna, you know, study, 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 you're gonna search for knowledge, more channels are gonna open, you know, the channel of your inner voice, the channel of uh, your spirit guides, of uh, Archangel Michael, the... Um, you, you're gonna close TV, you're gonna disconnect completely from the mainstream uh, media, you know, because, you know, it's all lie and uh, fear rejection. And uh, you're gonna be really, during that shift, you're gonna be really mindful of uh, what you pay attention to. You know, of what you are eating. Your uh, eating habits are gonna change. Your whole diet is gonna change. Your, your uh, how, how you dress yourself is gonna change. Everything is gonna change, actually, as your old self dies. Almost everything. Okay, not everything. Another thing is that you become aware of uh, your multidimensional self. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's that's where it, it gets more complicated. Okay, maybe your future self will begin to send you messages. Maybe your multidimensional self is gonna begin to send you messages. You know, it, it's, this is where it gets super complicated, but uh, you're gonna experience that as well. And uh, you will realize that even from this reality, you can, uh, you, can uh, you know, change the, the other, you know, multi-dimensional realities in your life. It's like this, um, it, it's like the architect in the Matrix 2, you know, where Neo was in the room with him and there was you know, infinite uh, monitors of other, you know, multi, of other versions of himself, you know, something like that. And uh, it's like, as you ascend, there's going to be times where your multidimensional self is going to send messages to you, you know, and uh, yeah, that's where life is getting crazy and your, your old ego is be beginning to dissolve. Your whole day go is like, what the heck am I living here? That's why you have to remember to be grounded. Okay, to be grounded in this reality. It's really important as well to do meditation, to work out in nature. You know, to you know, working out gets you gets you grounded. It's as simple as that. Another sign is you're gonna um, step, you're gonna, as you make this shift, slowly you're gonna step in your inner power. And that has nothing to do with ego. This purely originates from your soul, from your higher self. And uh, as you feel more connected with it, as your connection increases during this journey, you're gonna step in your inner power. You're gonna experience higher consciousness levels. Your, your way of thinking is gonna completely shift. You, you're gonna think outside the box. You, you, your mind is gonna become clearer. You're gonna see the illusions of ego clearer. You're gonna experience more lightness and space within your consciousness. It's gonna be like everything has changed inside you as you move. You're gonna you know, you're gonna accept life and um, you're gonna learn how to be patient. This path is gonna teach you patience, how to go with the flow, how to to let go when, when the time is right, okay, how to let everything collapse when it is collapsing. And this will help you to accept yourselves and others. This journey is gonna be challenging, it's gonna be uncomfortable, a complete, you know, journey into the unknown. But, you know, you're gonna be thankful all the way forward because you, as your awareness increases, you'll see what you are becoming through this. You're becoming a diamond, you know, you're becoming something really unique and valuable and needed in this place. Okay, so this is the video for today. Since we are moving to the fifth dimension, what we are gonna experience, uh, 
what uh, helped me along my journey, what I observed along my journey, what I realized along my journey. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. See you in the next, guys and girls. Peace and glory.